All right, welcome class. Uh, welcome to our test run of uh, this video recording of how to use Excel to graph demand and slope lines. Uh, to access the data, first you need to go to our website, which is tinyurl.com slash chalksyecon. If you get that, just hit reload. All right, now that you're on your site, we are now in the microeconomics unit. So you're going to click on unit three, microeconomics. There you'll find our data from our um, computer chips trading activity. So you're going to click on that. And in order to access this, you're going to click on File and then Download. You should be using Google Chrome. And if you are, the data should start downloading in the lower left-hand corner. Once it is done, you're going to open. Um, because this is a downloaded file, you're going to have to click Enable Editing to do anything uh, with the data. I also recommend right now going to File, Save As, and saving it to your H drive, which will be um, the drive with your ID number. Okay. So what we're going to do, and what we're going to do is. I'm going to show you how to draw the demand and supply lines. And this is really neat because it will help predict exactly at what price suppliers and uh, demanders or sellers and buyers would be willing to most likely buy and sell computer chips at. So I'm going to try to walk you through this step by step, so be sure you're following closely. The first thing you're going to do is select the data that we want to graph, and we're going to graph the supply data first. So just highlight the cells, and in order to graph, you're going to click on Insert, and then we're going to do a Scatter Graph. So click on Scatter, and then choose this graph format in the top left-hand corner. And there you go. You have the graph for the supply data. Now we want to also add the data for the buyers or the demanders. So what we're going to do is click on the graph, right click, and add select data. So again, I clicked, uh, clicked on the graphing area, right clicked, and then clicked on select data. Now this might look complicated, but it's really not. So what we already have here, series 1, means the data that we already have graphed, which is the supply data. So we're just going to click on edit and label this supply so we don't make any mistakes. All right, and you'll notice that it changed the titles, but that is okay. Now we want to add another data series. So we're going to click on add right over here. And now it's going to tell us what we would like to label this. Well, this is our demand data, so let's type in demand. We are now going to select the data for the X values. So if you remember from algebra, x in the data table is right over here. Once you've selected that, hit enter. And now we're going to select our y data, which is right here. Selected those cells, and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, you have a nice graph. In the red, you have the demand data. Note that as the price decreases, more people want to purchase. Notice as um, the price increases, more people want to sell or supply the computer chips. Now this is kind of interesting to look at in and of itself, but to make it even better, what we can do is we can plot the lines, the trend lines, or the line of best fit. You might have done this in math class or science class. So let me show you what we're going to do next. First, we're going to select this data series which was our supply data series. Notice that it is in blue. And we have to go to Layout, and then click on Trend Line. And we want a linear trend line. Now, this is useful, but we also want to add the equation for that line. So we're going to go back to Trend Line, click on More Trend Line Options, and then we're going to click right over here where it says Display Equation on Chart. So we've done that. And now that is displayed. We're going to
going to do the same thing with the demand data. So again, let's select the demand data series. Click on trend line. Let's go straight to more trend line options. We have linear, and then let's also click on display equation on chart. Then we're going to hit close. Now, what you'll notice is that we have a trend line for the supply and demand data. And now, with pencil and paper, you're going to find the point of intercept. That will tell us at what price we will reach equilibrium, meaning at which price were supplier's and demanders most likely to supply the computer chips. Thanks for listening, 